I've got an interesting idea today. If we take the gumball, we place it in, and we, you know, the rules. You probably need to put in, like, a little fuel pod, and then you slap on a little tiny engine onto the bottom of it. And by little tiny, that's not the one I wanted. I wanted this one. Cool. You take it to the launch pad, and Bill's like, yay, we have a rocket ship. And then you do the old skip the cooldown and fly up into space, and then the game's like, hey, we totally forgot to give you sound again. So that's great, the first bug that we uh, we achieved today. But something else that's interesting is that we can launch a rocket from a runway. Just a standard, typical rocket on a runway. You know the rules, you hit the space bar and did blast up into space. But the interesting thing is that runway is a lot longer and we should be able to accommodate a lot more rockets on here. So I was thinking to myself, I said, Stealth, let's remove that. We're gonna go for a large cockatoo. We'll strap on a few fuel tanks on here. Is that gonna work? It worked. Maybe one more for good measure. Then we'll throw on the Mammoth 2 engine because it's large and chunky and I like it. And here's the part of the dumb ideas. We're gonna strap as many rockets onto the side of this thing as humanly possible, as kerbally possible. We're just gonna put out a booster right now. Let's just put a Clydesdale on the side of this, right about like such as. Neat. That looks decent on the bottom. Let's take it back to the runway because I want to know the orientation of the actual runway itself. All right, so the opposite is true. I need it to go the long way, not this way. We don't want it to go wide, we want it to go long. So if I put these tanks um, like right here, it should be good. And also, yeah, this is gonna go really weird really quickly. Here, you come down here, then you're gonna blast off too. Neat. I'm gonna need to strap on a lot of duct tape too. At least Bill's happy. All right, so let's get rid of these Clydesdale things, and we're gonna start making up some other rockets. I want the mediums. So we're gonna go on the front and the back, like such as. It'd be it'd be a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie. If we could just make up another rocket and then like get the entire crew into space at once. We have 11 people that we can fly, and it looks like we can fit five in here. It's not really. Oh no, we can keep getting more. <laughs> this is dumb. I love it. So theoretically speaking, I can just attach that to there. Why did you not get mirrored, you dumb game? I want it mirrored in the- fine, we have to go to two instead of the symmetry. Whatever, I don't care. And then we'll attach that right like so. I need to move that way down though, don't I? Boop. Does that not go down any farther? Really? Really game? Just want it as even as I can on the bottom. Or we could just uh, strap on a bunch of these. That could work too. All right, that looks good. Let's just see if this works. We need to boost all the engines at once, and then we can separate and then... Oh, we need to separate you right away, too. Uh-huh. As expected. <laughs> the game just literally just goes dumb. And... something... Oh, it ripped apart. <laughs> this is... <laughs> Why did that break off? No, this is not right. Oh, everyone died. I think I may have forgotten the duct tape. Let's reduct tape it. Hey, that's a lot more stable. Nice, it's working. <laughs> now I just need like 50 more engines on here. I also want to see how high this can go. Is it stable? Are we gonna are we gonna make it to space? All right, unsurprisingly, this is a fairly simple craft that's actually working. And I'm, I'm way up in space. But somehow I went the wrong direction. <laughs> what is this? Why am I at the wrong direction? Where's the 90 at? It's over here. Whoops. So if I just grab one of these, I should be able just to uh, attach it onto the side. Okay, that's looking good. We can also start putting in more people into our seats. How many? Let's just fill it and fill it. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. I'm taking the entire Kerbal race to space <laughs> in a ship named Fly Safe. Let's add another one just for scientific purposes. Strap the old duct tape on. Get everything nice and secure. I also really want to like assemble all the fuel lines. So I want the outside to fuel the inside. So we can just fuel the middle one. I don't know if this is gonna work, but we'll see. Okay, it's stable on the floor. That's great. All seven engines are working together. So three, two, one, blast off. We don't need a countdown where we're going. It's stable. It's kind of working, I think. <laughs> it's, it's going up. Why is it going up? Why is it that I attempt to be serious in this game and it doesn't work, but the first time I tried to do something stupid, it's working exceptionally well. Only problem is I forgot to decouple things properly. Uh-oh. Yeah, go away. We don't need you. Uh-oh, we don't need you either. Go away. I gotta do this manually. Don't hit the other things. Thank you. Uh-oh. Well, we have an engine that fell off. All right. So, um, I mean, it worked if I would have made the staging properly. So let's do a quick copy-roo from here. We're gonna switch that to two, and then we're gonna, like, 
double the size again. Then we'll fill more people. A few moments later. Okay, the game is lagging a little bit, but that's fine. We don't really care at this point. I mean, the game just breaks and lags most of the time anyway. And this isn't very long. There's only 12. Does it work? It's working at a solid 8 FPS. Roughly, that's my guess. There's also 41 Kerbins aboard, Woo! so <laughs> that's kind of fun. Not gonna lie, I'm getting a little bit concerned about making this thing too much bigger. I mean, I'm going to, but it's gonna be so bad on the frame rate. It's been like going for five or six minutes now and we're only 2,800 meters up. But for some reason, this stupid thing is actually functioning. Well, I mean, it should be if my computer wanted to make it work. So this one's assigned to do a fun anti-gravity turn. So that's always great. You know, going against the planet's gravity, going to the west instead of the east. <laughs> Bill, I'm, I'm going to fire you. I might just, just fire you right now. <laughs> Goodbye, Bill. Oh, he came in a little hot. So if 12 aren't enough, let's uh, double it. I'll just duplicate that, scroll away out here, then plop it right on the side. I just have to pretend to get it lined up nicely. Is that going to work? That's a little high. Can I do this? Oh, and it didn't duplicate. Thank you, symmetry mode. Okay, work this time, please. Uh, no. Nope. Oh, oh, no, that's still too high. That looks like it could be good. Maybe. Potentially. Hey, that's pretty even. Nice. So let's get out even more curb and duct tape and make this thing work well. Why do I keep calling everything Kerbin today? I just have faith that the symmetry tool is working and that this is actually being placed on the other side too. I don't actually see any other things. I mean, there's a lot of duct tape down here that's just hanging out. Great, this is gonna work so badly. Look at all the little warts it has. These aren't even connecting to anything. Game, why do you do this? Why do I have to reconnect everything? Oh, I think it's working. <laughs> we have 24 liquid engines here. It's kind of nice. So if I hit the go button, it should work, theoretically. I don't know what speed it'll work, but uh, it'll go up in the air. That giant cloud of dust is a little bit concerning, but I think it's just a visual glitch. So after approximately 10 minutes, this ship is flying. I'm surprised, but it's flying. We're going straight up because I literally can't do anything. Ooh, that's pretty. So I think it's time to double the rockets yet again. So theoretically speaking, this is as wide as I can possibly make it to fit inside of the hangar. And the game is just straight up crying at me right now. That's fine. At this point, I really wish that they would have put in the auto strut in because now I have to go through all 79 of these rockets to strut them up. Although they might be here. I don't know. Let's try it anyway. And runway one. And all of the staging is way broken too. Fingers crossed that there's no explosions. There looks like a ton of, of supports up there. What actually happened? Why are there a bajillion supports on this thing? I figured that would happen. All right. Um, uh, I made it to the launch pad. Unfortunately, Bill Kerman's the only one. I did try loading up all 239 extra Kerbals into this craft. Um, but uh, the game failed to load. Ooh. Hey, we have countdown. Hopefully nothing breaks off of this monstrosity. I think there's 79 total engines on this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, these are these are starting to do something. Um, that's good. There it is. Yes, what a sweet looking rocket. <laughs> I just I just want to let it go. Okay, it's not. I, I can't touch anything. We got like one frame per minute again. Three days later. Oh, I hear rocket noises. Now I'm wondering if it's just gonna kind of collapse in on itself or how this is gonna go. Well, good news, minute into the flight, we are all rockets a go. Everything is working properly. I'm a little bit surprised and mostly scared. All right, so it's been nearly an hour now. We're 900 meters above the ground and things are, I, I guess they're working. I'm gonna try to start separating. I'm gonna hit the space bar a few times just to see what happens when things start to decouple. Because really, this one frame every three seconds just doesn't really work. 888 separators. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, hey, something happened. Hey, we got not, we got more ground. Hey, we crossed a thousand meters, so we have that going for us. It also looks like this one detached. I'm just gonna kind of hit the space bar a few more times, and maybe we can get a bunch more detaching. We'll send everyone up to space equally. It's kind of what the objective was: was to fire everyone up at once even though the game really didn't let me put them in the pods together. Evidently adding 78 thrusters plus uh, 239 Kerman 
just kind of broke the game. All right, so the next stage is literally 22. Oh, <laughs> stop crashing right now. That's, that's not funny. We got 22 and 24, so if I do that, it should decouple a lot of these. Oh yeah, there goes most of them. All right, that looks pretty good. <laughs> it's just like one of those uh, like Blue Origin or something where half of the Kerbins just decide to go out on a space trip together. As long as they don't blow up and oh boy, that's not good news. Okay, everything's good. These shut off. I don't know why. <laughs> but we have the main thruster now. That's the only one that's remaining. I'm gonna tell it to go towards the horizon. And it seems that the frame rate is actually working because I think what was happening was all of the fuel was like getting mixed up. And it was trying to recalculate the fuel every tiny tick. I just hope they don't crash into the main one. It looks like we have clean separation. All of these extra stages are just flying to space. These might collide. I don't really care about those though. Uh-oh. <laughs> one of them took off Bill. Oh, we have an explosion happening. I think uh, Bill's cabin is gone. Oh my goodness. That does look explosive. There's things happening all over the place. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say that's a fairly successful mission. We managed to launch the widest rocket possible in the game. It's going up, which is a good thing. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna sit here for another two hours until it does something else. So my friends, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. I'd like to thank this month's channel members and Patreon supporters, including Auto Dave, Ben, Dickie J, Teddy Hippius, Destructo Man, General Harris, Trent M, Joe B, Codino, Zarna, Maxer, Ralph, BC Engineer, Whip It Good, Sakarzmarex, Spencer T, Whiskey, Splatter Sex, Doug Rules, Skunk Chess, Corian, Rob the King, Bread, 8830, Dalton C, Avora, Sicanity, Grayson, Monkey, Kyle V, Zane W, Mr. Cripple One, Peyton Plays, Dredge Hoarder, Gun Jam, and Jonas DC.